Are we in a recession? Turns out, it's complicated. First, a recession is commonly identified by two consecutive quarters of negative growth, which we've seen with GDP falling for the second straight quarter this year. So, yes? Well, officially, the MBER declares recessions and uses multiple other factors in making its determination. A judgment that likely won't be made for months, if not longer. So, no? Like I said, it's complicated. Most economists don't expect an official recession to be declared despite consecutive quarters of negative growth. And the feeling among investors on Wall Street is that the economy could hit recession later this year or in 2023, but that it's not in one now. I'm Emily Lorsch for CNBC. Have any personal finance or money questions? Comment below.